Right. My son received death threats from this man. I saw three followers. No, you didn't. You didn't. You guys, class where he's teaching. Yes, I did. Didn't cause a disruption. I did cause it. Yeah, I would call it that. So this March, I performed a show at SMU, and this UT Arlington professor of logic posted a call to action demanding people call the school and get it canceled due to me being a quote, alt-right neo-Nazi. As evidence of my Nazi views, he posted completely fabricated tweets. I immediately had my half-Asian lawyer, Bill Richmond, officially request a retraction of the uh, lie. The legal definition of what I sent was a love note, uh, <laughs> requesting a retraction and a correction. A review. You reviewed it, and your conclusion was that statements attributing genocide to someone right. fake. Fake. There's literally, We're okay. Like, but he didn't. This professor of logic just went on continuing with the false claims non-stop, publicly, to his students, including that I sent neo-Nazis to his house and that I personally made death threats against him and his family myself. Only when I called the campus police to verify the veracity of the claims. Hey, Detective Lee, this is Steven Crowder. Um, as far as I can see, there's no offense. There's, you know, nothing of that nature. Okay. So considering this teacher of logic was teaching slander and libel to his students to prevent anyone here from making a living, we alerted the UT Arlington Dean. I refer you, Mr. Crowder, to either our university attorney. Not only did the school do nothing, they went out of their way to support Professor now, keep in mind, this professor has also publicly protested and harassed conservative students. I'm fortunate enough to have a platform, but it's scary to think that if this man does this publicly, how is he treating his own conservative students behind closed doors? Now, I'm not a guy who wants to destroy a man's life, suing him for verifiable repeated attempts at libel. But at this point, what choice did I have? Hi, professor. Say what again! Say what I just wanted to clarify something here for the record, because I know you've been working at this school for a while and actually posting online that I'm a neo-Nazi, some yes, false libelous claims. I'd like to know if you could correct the record. Uh, I would like to say that uh, when you uh, went to your show and you told some... What happened last year? Was there a spring break of last no, year? Uh, yeah, you're, you're hijacking my education. Yeah. yeah, I understand, but, but I also spring break of last year, year this man... Well, no. He posted, on on he posted that I said when he posted these attacks on me, put all the in the oven. I would never say this. When he posted these attacks on me, what ended up happening? What attacks on you? What attacks on you? His followers went on What attacks did I post on you? They started putting death threats to my son. Yes. You said I threatened your son. When my son was receiving death threats. By the way, for the record, I would never ever threaten violence. I don't believe in violence. Unlike some of the calls you made online, I would never threaten anybody with violence right now. I just want to make sure that me and my staff are able to make My son received death threats from this man. I sent death threats to your son? to get me fired. This man's lawyer has put When did I call death threats to your son? This man has put laws to Now, what I really hope is that in the future, what you will do is stop putting death threats against me and my friends. You've Which death threats? Where? You've, you've also put threats What death threats? When did I ever threaten you, your students, anyone here? Your son. Uh, when? What proof right do you have? Now. That's a big claim. How about your, how about your Facebook now. post? Right now I threatened you with death? You, you, you put the Thank schedule you. of your... Uh, when did I threaten anybody with violence? Because I actually advocate against it. Right now, please, no violence. But I think it's wrong I to mean, lie. That's, that's, so do you admit that that's not well, true? I admit, well, I do you admit that I never said those things? No, that's what you said. I said that. This, yourself. this is your prof and This is the guy teaching you yourself. logic and how to deal with and truth. This is important. Here's the thing. He's been invited. He's been invited. That's okay. He's been invited for an open forum debate repeatedly and has declined it. He has falsely libeled and slandered not only me, but members of my team repeatedly. And he has told you, his students, something that is not true. But you said I made it first. No, you said that, you said that you, I said you, those you things. Claimed, you claimed that these quotes came from the Daily Stormer initially. You're a professor now of logic. They came from me. You posted did this they, on your Facebook come, page saying Stephen Crowder posted this. Did this come from the Daily Stormer? Did I ever say these things? Don't touch that guy. Did I ever say these things? I've never issued a threat. But you have. Well, you know what? You know why? Because it's how I make a living. And truth matters. You're in a class where you're supposed to learn about truth. But what if I were to just spread a rumor that, for example, he were having a relationship with you or you, I have no idea, to get you fired? Would that be okay as long as it's I didn't like you? It is, it is something your followers have done. It is something your followers have done. I've never not done that. So when did I threaten I'll anybody? See you guys next class. When did I threaten anybody? When have I ever issued a threat of violence to anyone?
Okay, let me. You said that I issued a death threat to your son. Family, it's not I true. Your followers. I said, no, no, you didn't. You didn't. We have the screenshots. You said I did it myself. That's I didn't a lie. say those threats. I That's said the threats lie. against my. What son threats from me? Lie. Period. Any threats from me? When have, I, when have I ever said anything to be called a neo-Nazi? Ever? Give me one justification. Nice try to trip, little coward. When have I ever said anything, anything in support of neo-Nazi ideology? These people have disrupted my classroom. I'm kind of curious what the university can do about it. That's correct, we did. But you, the school has done nothing. Well, I, I can... Could we show you, if, if you could take one moment to look at this, I think if you saw how horrifying it is. He said I threatened to kill his family and his son. Right here it says, I've had enough of you little gay cartoon boys. You degenerate fucks are going in the oven with the cuts. And he said that I said these things. And you have someone who's in okay. charge of teaching truth and critical thinking to, to your students, who is lying. Look, to say what he To say that to I say. threatened his son's life? Well... That's not free speech, that's libel. Well, that Come on the show and we'll talk about place, it. Please. Or at a, a neutral meeting place. Now, I already did. A neutral meeting place. We can discuss it at a neutral meeting place. I'm not discussing with people who have made threats against my son, whose followers have made threats against okay. my son. All right, I need you out of my... I've never threatened your son. You. I never knew you had a son. I Honestly, I thought you were gay. It's like I'm in bizarro land of lies. Hello, officers. How are you? Oh, I know who you are. Oh, okay. Loud of the Oh, well, thank you. Did you guys clients where he's teaching? Yes, I did. And cause a disruption? I did cause it. Yeah, I would call it that. To answer questions, just no, I, I, tell us. I've seen you before. You've been talking about seeing you need to uh, change my mind and some of the... Oh, okay. Sure as night follows day, after we filmed this video, we sat back and waited for Charles Hermes to do what he does. Lie. Again, I'm fortunate to have a platform, but keep this in mind, if I don't have this show, if I'm someone like you, and this person makes these claims, and people believe it, you don't have a job. You never work again. Your reputation is ruined forever. But keep in mind, as always on this channel, civil discourse is always the first choice. But if you make threats, calls to violence, or repeatedly abuse your power to lie to your pupils and refuse to admit the truth, I will find you, I will expose you, and I will shame you. America first. Love the flow. Yeah, well, I mean, if you shoot on Hitler. Yeah, I don't like Hitler. <laughs> Hitler. He's number one man in the world. Wow. <laughs> Muslim. <laughs> Please tell me you got that.